Hey guys, welcome back to another one of my Savage videos. And today, guys, I got some more customs for you guys. Today, we got custom retribution figures. So if you guys haven't been up to date with WWE, a couple, a couple months back, um, maybe even a year back, I'm not really sure, um, a group called Retribution was created, and it was led by Mustafa Lee. There, were, there used to be six members, and then there was five, and right now they broke up. Well, I'll explain in a minute, but the members were... Um, Mustafa Ali, T-Bar, Mace, Splatjack, Reckoning, and Retaliation. So that was the original group. Um, and as soon as it was created, somewhere around that time, um, Retaliation left. So then it was just T-Bar, Mace, Splatjack, and Reckoning, and Mustafa Ali. And then at Fastlane this year, they officially broke up. Like, um, Reckoning literally just walked off, and then... Splatjack, Mace, and T-Bar just absolutely destroyed Mustafa Ali. So, Reckoning's gone. Like, she's gone. And she was Mia Yim. So, th and that's another reason why I didn't make her. Because, one, it's Mia Yim. I don't have that figure. And, two, I don't even feel like making it. Um, But the other three, they're kind of still together as a trio. Just to, like, it's not a group of five or six. And Mustafa Ali's moved on with them. But I made their custom figures. Now, I think they turned out really well. I've seen other people do them, but they didn't really put too much effort into them. I actually did. So, I'm just going to show you guys what I did. So, right here, we got Splatjack, T-Bar, and Mace. Yeah, okay. So, all of these are customs. I made all of these myself. So, let me just show you. First things first. You might notice. If you watch WWE, Mace and T-Bar are supposed to be the same height. I could not find another figure with the correct skin tone of Mace to make um, the perfect height. So, I used this figure, which I'll tell you what it is in a minute. And honestly, I think it looks pretty well. Just like a couple, like it has to be like that tall. And there's no figure that I can find like that. But it's not that big of a deal for me. But um, yeah. oh jeez, so oh, my god. All right, but anyway, let's just let's just get into it. All right, so this is T-Bar right here. <clears throat> for him, I used a basic series. I think maybe one cane, like a really really old cane, one where he wore tights. <clears throat> Um, just tights, no singlet, um, and he did not have a mask on, he was bald. So for him, so what I did for him was I took the basic, I painted up the legs fully black. He already had black boots. He, 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 it's, it's kind of funny. This hand has a glove and no, like, sleeve thing right here. This hand did not have a glove, but did have a sleeve thing. So I had to paint the sleeve thing on the gloved hand, and I had to paint the glove on the sleeved hand, which I found kind of funny. Um, then he does have, um, I threw on this custom jacket I made, so I just want to say that. And then he does have, just like T-Bar does have in the actual wrestling, hang on, I always want to try and be delicate when I take off the jackets from my figures. Oh my god, I gotta stop knocking over the camera. Ever since I started making video games, I, videos again, I, I keep almost knocking down my camera. So, he, he does have elbow pads. And I put, like, these two black rubber bands because he does have some up there. Like, that's the perfect height for them. And then the head scan. Like I said, it was just bald cane. I sculpted the mask that he wears and painted his eyes and all the other stuff. So, yeah. So, this is T-Bar. Yeah. I don't know if he's exactly as tall as Kane, but I thought that the Kane figure would have looked best. So, yeah, that's T-Bar. Now on some Mace. So for him, I used a Jinder Mahal body. Um, it's an, an old Jinder Mahal. I just painted the legs black, gave him black boots. I gave him a black gold dust sleeve and gloved hand. I also gave him his like tattoos, elbow pad, and another gold dust glove. Let me take off his vest. And then I gave him his tattoos, like the ones right there and the ones right here. They have kind of rubbed off a bit, but it's no big deal. The head scan is an old Roman Reigns because he does have um the almost the same type of hair as Mace. So I went with that and then I sculpted the mask on the head. So yeah, so that's Mace. And then finally we got Splatjack. So Splatjack for him, I used a Seth Rollins body. I gave him gloved gold dust hands. For the head scan, I used a Ted DiBiase Jr. I just grabbed a random head scan I had in my father, father bin. And the reason why I didn't really care is because in the end, I was going to sculpt his uh, mask on. And I absolutely love how the mask came out. I even added like this part just to make it look more realistic like it was a mask. 
I did paint the hair black because it was, he did have black, um, brown hair. I threw on this vest t-shirt and he does wear all black. And the reason why I threw on the vest is because since I used the Seth Rollins, let me also show you the tattoos. Seth Rollins is pretty jacked and Splat Jack in real life is not as jacked as Seth Rollins, which is why I normally put on the t-shirt, but I did give him his tattoos. So we got his right there and the ones right here, that one right there. This one, all these. And yeah, so yeah, that's basically retribution. Not that hard. Mm. The only hard part was the sculpting on the faces, but I love sculpting, so yeah. So yeah, guys, thank you so much for watching. Please leave a like if you enjoyed the video. Please subscribe for more epic WWE and Nerf videos. If you guys do subscribe, please ring the bell for notifications so you'll be notified every time I upload a brand new video. And until next time, guys, goodbye.